Do you need help with anything? No, I'm okay. I got our clothes in here. Just, I got it. Okay. okay. I know they're not gonna recognize you when you come back. Okay. Once again, my name is Jacqueline, and this is my friend Vianney Hello. that we've known each other for like 20 years, wow. three minutes ago. We just met on the street. Just kidding. Um, but anyways, in the primer mukbang, mukbang, no lo puedo pronunciar muy bien. Mukbang, mukbang. Sorry, I just did not. Anyways, mukbang, and fuimos a uno. Agarramos obviamente nuestro platito cada nosotras. No tenemos like a lot of food because normally. That's what a mac mac bay is, right? I don't know why I have such a hard trouble, uh, hard time with it. But anyways, este, también traje sodas. Y son de la... ¿Cómo se llama esta vieja? Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, sí. So this, uh, I haven't had them. Bien, I already had them before, but we're going to retry them again. And I'll let you know what is her opinion about it. So este flavor is mango... Strawberry, kiwi, and pineapple. Ooh, fancy. Well, anyways, Vianney, dinos de nosotros. Tú, tú dile a la gente. Qué rollo. Bueno, pues saludos a la gente. Um, but yeah, como dijo Jackie, si tenemos un chingo de añales de conocernos. Um, yo me llamo Vianney. Soy originalmente de Sonora, pero creada aquí en Estados Unidos. Para allá del lado de Águila, de Wickenburg. No se sepan. Si saben qué bien, si no, pues... Qué bueno también, que no sepan, porque está feo. Google it. No, es que está feo. Pero mira, sobrevivimos. El caso es de que tenemos 21 años de amistad y aquí estamos porque tenemos varios hobbies que, que compartimos, pero el más um, importante es el de comer bien, ¿verdad? Que tenemos tiempo que ya no lo hacemos tanto porque pues las dos ocupadas, ya saben, con la rutina, ella por un lado, yo por el otro, pero igual um, tratamos de hacer tiempo para para vernos y hacer cositas de vez en cuando. No como en los tiempos de antes, que nos íbamos más de vaga, porque si sí, esto es algo, otro fact de mí, que sí me gusta andar de vaga, de pata de perro, y pues acá, ya aquí es igual, ¿verdad? No sabe, yeah. está quieta, no sabe. Pero está bien, porque sí me gusta, ¿verdad? Um, que sea la gente. Pero sí, como les decimos, tenemos 21 años, nos gusta comer bien, nos gusta ir de aventuras, pero más que, más que nos gusta también es probar cosas nuevas. Um, no solamente comida, pero experiencias nuevas, como hiking, snowboarding, cosas así. Um, quizás hay algo, hay algo que ella haya hecho antes que yo, o viceversa, ¿verdad? Que ella hizo yo no, y yo hice y ella no. Y así nos gusta, you know, probar cosas diferentes. Um, pero sí, como estamos diciendo, somos muy parecidas. Eh, las dos somos Tauro, nacimos en mayo, mismo año. Diferentes ciudades, diferente hora del día y unos cuantos días como una semana entre, entre nuestros sí, cumpleaños, sí. así que somos así, bien cerquitas, ¿verdad? Y sí se nota la personalidad, porque como siempre contamos uh -huh. la historia de que nunca, siempre nos decimos las verdades, pero a la última hora nos ponemos a pensar que, ¿será que sí nos decimos verdades? ¿O será que somos tan parecidas que pues las verdades a lo último no vienen siendo tan verdades? Porque pues... <risa> Porque, pues, Somos iguales, haríamos we, lo mismo. Ya, yeah, we do the same thing. Sí, si nos confrontas con la misma situación, íbamos a hacer lo mismo, las dos. So, yeah, and then another point that Jackie has made too is que somos bien un unapologetic. Que eso sí es cierto. Um, tenemos diferentes maneras de expresarnos, um, pero a lo último, las dos nos vale madre. Mm -hmm. Pero en el, en el buen sentido de la palabra, ¿verdad? Porque tampoco nos andamos allá arruinando vidas. Y mandando a gente la chingada, no, tampoco. Pero es más bien de que, pues ya estamos tan seguras de, nos, de sí mismas que ya hacemos lo que queremos, cuando queremos, sin andar tratando de caerle bien a la gente. O sea, ya es de que ya esta edad ya que ya hemos vivido tantas no cosas. Ya, en una manera. Sí, y también hemos vivido tantas cosas muy difíciles um, antes de conocernos, durante el tiempo que nos hemos conocido. 
y nunca se nos, nos ha amargado eso, al contrario, nos ha hecho más, um, como más fuertes, más sí. unidas, más, no sé, más peleoneras, pero contra la vida, no contra, o sea, contra las cosas de que ah. no dejemos que nada, en, Muy nada ni nadie nos dé un bajón, Ajá. o sea, es de que seguimos chingándole, no, a pesar de que el, las experiencias o lo que venga o lo que nos dé miedo, Ajá. seguimos chingándole, y duro. Tú sí, querés. Ajá. Sí, pero ya se fue, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a hablar de ella. <risa> vamos a, a fingir a la... Oh my god, tenía un chingo de huevos a coda y me dio. ¿Qué? Todo el. el uh... La fat. Oh. Yeah, pues yeah. like, mm -hmm. yeah, so. Es lo peor, o son. Sea, a mí no me pongan nada de gordo. No. Bueno, si es un chicharrón. Ah, pues un chicharrón. Oh, ¿sabes qué? Si sí, sí tengo una queja de Jackie, actually, hablando de. de gordura, oh, dime. De gordura y chicharrón. Una vez. Oh, yeah. Creo que estaba embarazada. Estaba embarazada de una persona de, de ridícula yo. Todavía no tenía salina. No, por sure, no la tenía salina. Entonces estaba embarazada, no sé porque andaba ahí de, de, de delicada, medio mamona, ¿verdad? Ya saben cómo se ponen embarazadas, no se hagan. <risa> no se hagan. Se ponen de mamonas, de, no se hagan. Entonces fuimos a comer tacos, ¿verdad? Y yo aquí ordenando mis tacos al pastor. Mm -hmm. Era estilo sonora, yo bien volada, porque, se, o sea, te daba el olor, así que los tacos saben al carbón. Estilo muy de allá. Bueno, acá estamos yo, entradas pidiendo nuestra orden. Y esta muchacha que pide unos pinches tacos de tripa. Que porque le gustan las tripas y no sé qué. Casi me muero cuando me da el pinche olor, ya que estamos ahí sentadas en la, en la mesa que me daba el olorcito a tripas. Puso una barbita porque nos quería mirar. No me feel bad, porque pues sí me gustó. Sí me gustan pero no le gustó ese día, no te hagas. No, yeah. Sí me gustan las tripitas, pero they have to be super crispy, like bien doraditas. Pero no estaban tan doraditas. Y eso sí, like, el olor de la tripita está media cabrona, está media... Como cuando estás cociendo el menudo. Mm -hmm. Like, have you... Have, oh, it's disgusting. Mm. I kind of like, feel like that's how... Yeah. Mm -hmm. For my days. I don't know, guys. I'll try anything once. And I have tried tripas. Oh, disclosure also. Try anything once except for meth, right? But... Except for... I did try the tripas. No, más para no decir, ay, no me gusta, pero nunca lo he probado. O sea, ¿qué, tal? ¿Qué es eso? You can't do, yeah. You can't right? see that. You yeah. can't hate on it if you don't know it, right? So I did, I did give him another chance because I thought, well, maybe my palate has changed now that I'm an adult. Y les di chance. Nunca jamás. Qué asco. No, that was the last time I, I ate actually. Uh, Se traumó. I did not like it. I did not. Oh, de por sí no era tan fun. Pero... In that moment, Jackie knew she fucked up. <laughs> Can you cuss? I'm sorry. <laughs> Eso sí son muy I think I cuss. Oh my God, I think I cuss in here. Yeah, we both cuss a lot, actually. What's funny is that we would actually, we were in catechism class together for years. We did our first, uh, we did our confirmation together. Um, so yeah, we weren't really cussing yeah. them. We were asking a lot of questions. I think that's where our, um, our little personality of not giving a fuck started porque hacemos muchas preguntas porque nuestra religión como que no nos permite hacer preguntas pero a nosotros también nos valió hacemos preguntas y aún seguimos haciendo preguntas aunque agarramos diferente dirección um, en referencia de la espiritualidad y el, el, la religión de todos modos seguimos igual hacemos preguntas porque o sea tenemos que saber cómo vamos a seguir algo a ciegas no no me digas cuando We're talking about it. La que me pregunta, oye, güey, ¿y tú en realidad si pensarás en eso? Or, or, ¿cómo lo pienso? Like, do you really feel or whatever? And the same thing, because we were raised by this, like, in the same religion. So, también igual es, like, pues, después la pensamos, pues, whatever, you know. So, we, we bounce back. And the cool thing about it is que something that you cannot talk about, even with, sometimes with your besties, you know, religion and politics, right? But I think that we have a lot of those conversations. Mm -hmm. And we're good, like... But then again, going back to it, like... Pensamos lo mismo, like, los mismos pensamientos, or whatever, you know, and, and a lot, lot of things que... I don't know, we just... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's actually a great example, because we were saying that we align a lot with other things, right? Que nos podemos decir verdades y todo But... When it comes to like religion and stuff like that, actually we're very opposite. 
que seguimos dos diferentes cosas, pero como dice, es muy difícil encontrar alguien con quien puedes platicar de religión y política. Y en realidad yo soy bien anti, like, yo no te, pl yo no te platico a ti de política o de religión, solamente si te conozco. Entonces, con alguien como ella que es lo opuesto a mí, sí le puedo hacer preguntas duras o hacer comentarios duros, um, porque una, venimos del mismo background, y dos, um, it's important sometimes to question and like, put that seed in somebody's brain, like, okay, pero estás segura que lo que tú crees, así, 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 y ella también me lo puede hacer a mí, pero, aunque es un poco difícil también, porque ella sabe más de, de mi religión, que lo que yo sé de lo de ella, uh, pero de todos modos, yo sin ofender, trato de buscarle cómo preguntarle algo bien, y no creo, es muy difícil ofender a Jackie, porque, um, igual, quizás porque nos conocemos, o quizás porque yo la pienso como preguntarle, porque yo no busco ofender, yo en realidad quiero saber, hey, ¿qué piensas de esto? Mm -hmm. you know? Or, asking you a question, like, because I want to learn. Yeah. yeah. Porque nunca debes de, no para seguir con la religión, porque ese es un tema muy controversial, pero nunca debes de criticar a la otra gente, o tratar de meterles tu religión, o tus creencias, mm -hmm. ya sean espiritual, espirituales, o whatever you want to call them, um, nunca se las debes de tratar de meter a alguien, a web, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque eso no, no va, o sea, ¿Cuál es el punto? I, vive y deja vivir. I think, like, for me, that was, like, one of the hardest things for me, like, when, when it came to, to religion, or, like, when my mom or whoever sometimes starts telling me about religion, porque my mom shoved it so much down my throat, and until this day, like, me dice X cosa, so I feel that whenever someone comes up to me, they're, like, talking about their religion, I'm very respectful, at the same time, just like, oh, like, don't try to, like, shove this shit, like, it's, I, I was, you know, completely good. Pero, I don't know, I just try to, like, I think we do pretty good when it comes to that. Eso sí, me sigue la corriente, if I ask her, like, hey, I need you to do some witchy shit, and then she's down. She's so down, it doesn't matter. Eso sí, le voy a decir, viene, she's fucking down. I remember, yeah. was it New Year's Eve or something, or New Year's Day? ¿Te acuerdas cuando fuimos a sacar fotos también, cuando sacaste esas fotos allá en el... Those were cool. It was last minute, and she was down. She, she took pictures of me. It was an adventure. Daddy! <laughs> I know. It was an adventure, you guys, so we drove and we drove. We didn't really know. Actually, you know what? We went back after, but... And we were trying to jump into a canal and everything, but that's another story. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we drove and we drove and we drove. And then fin finally, nos estacionamos allá en el rincón del burro, como dicen. But we found a cool spot. And actually, the photo shoot was actually really cool. So, the lighting, I don't know what it was. It was like really dark outside, but it just worked. It just worked with the outfit, the props. Um, you've got, You had a disco balls. Mm -hmm. Those were like my favorite. So cool. It's just a really cool photo shoot. Um, and I suggest that if you have a friend who's down to do something like that, go out mm -hmm. to the desert. We're in Arizona, there's so much desert. Like, you don't even have to drive that far, mm -hmm. you know? And obviously find legal parking, because where we parked was questionable. No se asegura si está legal o no, pero no nos dieron ticket, así que, you know, who we cares? Were, we were not that deep into the desert either. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, you could literally drive, like, up the street, and you're in the desert, but you're not really, like, remote. So it was safe, okay? So in case you want to, you know, you give us a, a thing. But no, um, you guys should do that. But, hold on, Max, tell us what it is. hold. While they're holding, which one should we try? Mm. So we have the pineapple. The kiwi one's good. I kind of want to leave the pineapple to last. Can we do that one? Because I think yeah. that's my favorite. If you're, if you're done. No, yeah, I'm, what? I'm just trying to think, like, I guess como si hubiera muy experta yo del wine. You know how, like, oh, the perfect yeah. pairing is with this. So I'm thinking, like, Dude. what would go? Do you want to try kiwi first? Yeah, that's the kiwi. I was actually thinking one of these two. Yeah. All right. Ya te terminas tú solita? Yeah, no, I'm ready. Do you think it's gonna mix the flavor though? Te acabaste todo todo la sopa. Yeah. I'm so, I feel like I'm such a mom. Te acabaste todo. I know, right? It's like clear. Porque te te va a acusar. Wendy. We found some kids in the street. 
<risa> Imagínate que en realidad Son de ella, no es que se quiere hacer que no No yeah. tiene hijos, pero son de ella Yo estoy soltera y sin hijos Yo, No eso. tengan envidia No tengan envidia porque ella tiene 15 años Sin hijos o sea, Soltera y sin hijos Soltera, yes Nomás hace Handhugs <risa> okay. So, if you guys are curious about the handhug thing I'm totally laughing because Jackie said that Ah, no, o sea, con un tipo que le ofreció un pinche hand hug y lo le digo yo, ¿qué es eso, güey? Last night, so I was set up last night uh, at downtown, and this guy, uh, he's like, yeah, and so he's leaving, he's like, hand hug. Y yo, ok. Y le dije que el beauty, that's why I mean. Le dije que el día que estemos en la calle, and then she points out some dude, and she's like, oh my god, man, I gave her my hand hug. I'm gonna be fucking dying. I legit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna make so much fun of her. Like, hey, wait. No te andas haciendo hand hug con todos por ahí por el, por el mundo Por el mundo, con mi hand hug in everybody ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué es? Oh, que quiere el teléfono She goes like this and then she goes, she goes like this Ah, ya tiene su teléfono de Bluey Alina <laughs> just had a moment Yeah. It's the alarm. Is the camera still rolling? Yes. That's Tony. We borrowed his home for this. Yeah. Wow. And those screaming it. kids are his. Yeah. They are. I take full responsibility. I don't know how many of them are. It's okay. It's okay. If she took it, she took it to her. Come on. No, I'll take a drink and I'll give it to you. 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 No, see, that's Okay. Alrighty. Well, cheers. No, we let's smell it like professionals. No, I guess that smells really good. Cool. You have to. ¿Cómo se llama? You have to do this with the wine. And... Oh, yeah, it's actually really good. Wait. It tastes like green apple. Yeah, it does taste like green apple. So it's not it's not a soda, just to clarify. It's more of like a sparkling. Oh, it's, I, it's a sparkling. I think it's officially a sparkling water. Um, Flavor kind of thing. I need to read talking this. about? Okay, she's a nerd like this. Like, it's a su, no, it's su no, expertise. Is. No, but if I'm being honest, my niece schooled me on this because I was like, did you have your soda? Because I bought her a second set of them. Mm -hmm. And she's like, it's not a soda. It's a sparkling water. Beverage or some shit. You're like, oh yeah, perdón. Sparkling water, oh, kiwi okay. flavor. Oh, Así que viene sí. siendo como una freaking uh, sparkling water. Like a <laughs> yeah, but what do they call like a bubbly, mm -hmm. like a poppy, but not really. Uh, not really healthy, healthy, but like a poppy. Yeah, it's good. I don't know what do you give this. Like I think it's good. Está así un poco desabrida porque si es sparkling water. So yeah. it's not as intense. So I think if you like that lighter, airy flavor. I don't know, dude, I kind of really like it. I want to say no, 10 like it and 10, but maybe 10 out of 10 or 9.5. Yeah, I don't mean the sabrita like in a bad way, you guys. Yeah, no. It's, like, it's not super sugary. That's what yes. it is. Like a Sprite. It's kind of like it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a Sprite, but not with as much sugar. Yeah. Sugar, sugar. It's so funny though, because now that you mentioned Sprite, de chiquitas te daban, no sé si les daban a ustedes la Sprite, porque era la soda para los niños. Yeah. La Sprite o la Fanta. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Cucharadonas de azúcar que andan teniendo. Like, <laughs> like the worst. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to move into the questionnaires. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to okay, ask each other. Oh. We're going to set the timer. Um, so we don't go over like 15 minutes on that we will. question. Yeah, because... We have ADHD, both of us, and literally we haven't even finished the conversations that we started like three hours ago. Unmedicated ADHD. Yeah. I'm just and I stopped smoking too. <laughs> Did I tell you again? No. Again? <laughs> again? I stopped what? smoking again. <sighs> I was scared. I didn't see find a job, man. I mean, like, it was... I have to I accept you as you are. Yeah, but the federal government's not going to accept me for who I am. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. So. Anyways. Yo te acepto. Yo te acepto. No, sí, güey, es que. Ay, ¿qué quieres comer? ¿Quieres comer un pollo? Quiero con pollo. Um, Jackie, ¿probaste la mostaza? No, I haven't yet. Um, Did you mix it here? 
No, ese nomás es chile. So ah, okay. Ese está bien bueno. Te... No, lo que hiciste lo tiraste, ¿o qué? <risa> ¿Tú también te ríes? Ya. ¿Tú y tus dientitos? Bueno, ¿quinta? Sí. Uh -huh. So now we're going to be asking... Ok. Ya lo tiré. <laughs> Stop it now, woman. No sabe lo que es bueno. He did not want this. He's like, okay, I'm over it. I just want to taste it now. Um, do you have a question already off the bat? Okay, so okay. I have I have a question for Ducky. Yeah. Pregúntame. All right, you guys ready for this? <gasps> If you would have to choose. Mama, oh. please. <laughs> Uh, as your lifelong partner Mama. between these two Mama. people. Which two people? The following two people Aww. that I'm about to describe. Would you choose a dying old man with a ton of money or b a very handsome poor man experiencing homelessness? And why? <laughs> why, 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 how did I lie? I came up with that one. Well, I think I will go with number one. With the dying old man? The dying old man. And the reason why is because he's already about to be dead and he has money. And there's not going to be no... She agrees with me. Um, there's not going to be no sexy time. So I don't have to... And he's already literally old, old, old and dying. He's like, that's what you yeah, think. think. <laughs> yeah, think. Well, in my scenario, oh. um, there's no sexy time. And you know, I don't need a compita ya. Yeah. Like, I would just take care of him. Like, obviously, like, I'll take care of him and, you know, uh, okay. what if But hey, if he's going to give me his fucking money, why not? What if you know that he's leaving his money to his dog? Jackie's a dog lover, like, hardcore, so I'm, I'm curious. If he's like rich, but he's like, you can live with me until I die, but once I die, my money's going to Fido. Well, while he dies, I'm going to make sure I collect my money. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yo, right now, I feel like because I'm on the survival mode, I'm like, I'm not going to I'm not going to be I love to eat, so I'm going to be making sure I'm getting fed. So, Verdadina, tú diles. Que me den de comer. I would choose the same, honestly. Güey, es que pues está... But I mean, I do think that, unfortunately, sí vas a tener que dar un poco de, de cuerpo, you know, because I have heard ¿Eso? que los viejitos todavía... Pero si está ya muriéndose. Así son los hombres. <risa> son cabrones. Se pueden estar muriendo, pero... Until the last minute, literally. No, no, no. no. <risa> well, that was my... So, okay, my question, my question to you, this is going to be kind of, muchacha, do you want to be part of, do you want to come out in the video? Is that what's going on? Or do you want to be part of the conversation? Why are you so dramatic? She's on, you know, she's on, I'm a Scarpio. See what I mean? Exactly. Um, all you. Tell me that it's not all you. For yeah. some reason I said, oh no, we're in Scorpio. Scorpios are similar, but. Yeah. All you are the kind of grab the attention of the camera. <laughs> oh, we so love girl. astrology. Jackie knows more about it. I just like it for fun. Because <laughs> I do see a lot of I'm learning a things lot that are more. real. I'm definitely learning a lot more about astrology. Um, okay. So mine's going to be a little bit more serious. Uh, kind of like what we're talking about. So. Or, er, dude, this is why we need a whole production so someone can be just like. No, well, we can train Alina in a few years. Mm -hmm. Okay, just give her like two or three more years. Okay, so, Mike, sir, we're gonna ask some questions now, please. He's like, um, you're not feeding me. So, my question to you is um, tell us about that guy. Tell us about, like, education on that guy, because um, I feel, even myself, and a lot of y'all out there are not really informed or hard things are going uh, to happen. Um, 
because just kind of like what we were talking about earlier, like just the differences, like, because even though a lot of people have a stereotype like, oh, you're an immigrant, you don't pay taxes. No, motherfuckers, they do pay taxes. They do. Anyway, so. So, first things first, I will, the, the first thing I want to educate you all on, not that it's my business, but take it as you will. I hate the term illegal alien. Please do not use that term around me. It's undocumented, not illegal alien. You don't have proof that someone has done something illegally so, or has come here illegally. You don't know. You have no proof. Or that they are here legally or that they're doing something illegal. So, no, you don't have the right to call someone an illegal alien. Even if you are part of the rasa too, because even the rasa is the worst. I'm not going to kick it. Yeah, yeah he's Sorry, he's going to mess it up. Pobrecito. I don't mean that in a bad way because he's a baby, but you know. Yeah. Hey, but he, but he will mess it up. Hold on. And then he's going to take the phone and take the phone. The phone? No, the phone. The phone. Alrighty, so the, we're back. The question was about Baca. Yeah. So educate us, tell us. Um, no sé, qué pedo, qué pedo, qué rollo con el pollo. Well, I even though Daca's been around for I think now we're going to like eleven years. Could be wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think since twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. Let's say, um, and I've had it ever since the program started. And um, even though it's been around for so long, I feel like a lot of people don't understand the program very well. Like I was just explaining to Jackie that even though we um, have DACA and we are protected under DACA, we are still undocumented. So DACA, it, it's so weird because it almost contradicts itself, right? So DACA is for us folks who arrived here as children. So underage, we were brought here by our parents. Um, we didn't choose to come here, we were brought here, and we, um, there's other things that qualify you as someone who can be protected under DACA, but one of the things, um, shoot, I forgot what I was going to totally lost my track. Squirrel! Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ADHD <laughs> moment right there, but anyways, um, what I was going for is that, how the process started living years ago, and how, but the irony of it is that the, no more that DACA gives you the right to work in the United States, but you're technically not allowed to be here. So you're still undocumented. That makes zero sense to me. So we're allowed to work here. We pay taxes, um, but we're not supposed to be living here. Explain that to me. That makes zero sense. So anyways, of course, like the government wants the fucking money and get paid and... Yeah. Right. So... We pay taxes, obviously. Um, so it's more taxes, actually, too. So, yeah, more taxes because we don't get as many credit breaks as you guys do, but we still are judged by the tax brackets. So you guys know how that goes. You hit a new tax bracket, uh, aka you try to make more money for your family and your well-being or whatever trips, money, or food, whatever, and you're gonna get taxed at a higher rate. Even if you're at the bottom of the bracket, you're paying like a lot of money. So many of us will end up paying a lot of taxes every year the other thing is that um what people never think about on their paycheck is like the social security money um so you're contributing to social security money um sorry to social security administration for retirement so when you retire you can claim this money we have no right to claim this retirement money so all this money is just going into this social security administration fund and i'm not really sure i don't recall exactly how um the social security money works but if I remember correctly, I think it's almost like communal, where all the money goes into like a fund, into a bank, and it's kind of distributed equally, not equally, but kind of, you know, amongst all the people that are receiving social security money at that moment. So what I'm trying to say, or what I'm implying is, if I'm correct, is that folks who are retired are probably receiving the money that I'm putting, that I'm contributing into social security. If they're not receiving it now, then eventually they will, and I won't, because I'll still, uh, I'll still have DACA, so I won't have a right to that retirement money, which I find super annoying too. Once you become fully, like, con papeles todo, like, would you be able to tap into that social security? Yeah, so once, um, once I become a green card holder, um, what a lot of people don't know is that green card, green card holders pretty much have all of the advantages of a U.S. citizen except mm -hmm. the for the right to vote. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I would be able to do that. 
um, and I would be able to transfer all that into my whatever, you know, like, yeah. hey, I have a status now. Because I don't know if you guys know this too, that um, it obviously Vienna knows a lot more because she's going through the process, going through the process for a very long time. It's the... Um, a mí también me fue la onda que te iba a preguntar ahorita. No, bien, no, es distracting. Squirrel! Eso que para de fumar muerta. Ah. Right. Todas las neuronas ya están todas muertas. Ah. Oye, y a ver, oye. Hey, we got this. We got this. We will succeed three hours later. No. Um, they do have a social security. They don't have an EIN number. I'm um, sorry, a TIN <coughs> number, like the tax, whatever. Pero. The, it's different. We're not yeah, immigration. Yeah. We're not going to tell you how to do shit. Yeah. Like, that's not our expertise. Um, pero yeah. ellos yeah. tienen un yeah. seguro social. So don't think also, because I think that's a big stereotype and a lot of for a lot of people. Like, oh, you're in DACA, um, and they don't understand the difference. It's like if you're in DACA, you do have a social. You are working legally and everything, you know. Pero how she said those little. ¿Qué so they're just not able to access those little like extra extra points or whatever for for things so um like disability actually would be another one too because yeah we do have social security number just like everybody else does but our social security number and actually the physical card itself states that it's for work purposes only so there's more yeah. that goes into that which is like stuff like oh, no. yeah Lina bye ah, don't so you know no tengo amigos no 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 oh she's like these are actually Jackie's kids but I had them in the DL and then but I have to take care of them now yeah. I'm kidding but I um, gotta take care of them. Yeah, so, and then in many states, you're actually not even, you're not able to get uh, unemployment, which is okay. I mean, the less we owe the government, the better, right? But um, you're not able to get unemployment, um, any of those benefits. I know that some states you can, some counties you can, and then also, like, sometimes you can for your children if you need benefits. Um, but a lot of us DACA holders are just trying to make more money. Not that we're able, now that we're able to make more money legally. Um, so more than likely our income is probably higher than average because we're just trying to make it, you know? So we probably don't qualify for food stamps and things like that anyways, but, um, yeah. So, básicamente, el gobierno, por estar aquí, te chinga. Yeah. Like, no están chingando the same thing. If you got papers, if you're a U.S. citizen, te están chingando regardless, so... Ugh, it's the it's golden just, cage. Yeah, right? um, this is a beautiful country. I'm grateful to be here, and it's beautiful. Yeah, but it is it is a lot of work to be here. It's a lot of money, and sometimes you don't really see the payoff because we just work to we live to work instead of working to live. Which I've always been told that by people that live in other countries, like that we call third world countries. And in reality, they're better off than us because, as we discussed earlier, the work-life balance is actually important to them. Um, and here, it, people, society claims that work-life balance is important to them, but it's not. It really isn't. I mean, we work until we're almost dead. Yeah, literally. Bueno, pues, we're going on to the third question because I'm going to Okay, what's your question? Charger? No. <laughs> Okay, so what would be your oh, question for this me? Is, this is this is my favorite question actually oh, to ask shit. people. Where do you see yourself in five years? To be honest, I have no fucking idea because I could barely even understand what I'm gonna go through next month. And the reason, ah, see, yo soy tu timeout. La regaña, and I'm her timeout. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. Like, I I, I don't know. Like, I. I used to be able to have a plan, not be able to, but like I used to, I used to have a plan, like oh, sin cinco años, but ahorita I don't know, like I'm still discovering myself. So obviously, be a better human, be a better soul, uh, be a better bruja. To be honest, that would be more of my goal, like educating myself more on, like 
the curanderies, like just become more knowledgeable when it comes to like my spirituality. When it like you know, just yeah. on my teachings. Like I would want to know more. And that's something for sure. Casi me puedo mirar yo en cinco años. Pero que decir que que miro que casada con hijos o con casa. No, like I don't. Yeah. Because I don't know. Because I'm. I don't know. But I think what you said is a good foundation, don't you think? And everything else can fall into place. I mean, it's literally like something you want to do for for like life. El curanderismo, um, you know, all that stuff, and also which, you know. It's good for people to try to, to actually educate themselves on that because one of my pet peeves and I've always told this to people is people who claim to be into this stuff and they just do it like, I don't know, if they're just learning stuff off TikTok or yeah. Google. But <laughs> like, no más lo hacen así, no más oh, willingly, ni saben ni qué rollo, ni por qué. Giving the wrong information to Gi yeah, teaching. thousands of people. Yeah teaching like that's ridiculous like whatever you choose to follow like no lo andas enseñando y compartiendo con la gente así como que eres experta unless you actually know why you're doing certain things so I think you know for the next five years for you to try to learn more it's, yeah. it's the right thing to do I think like you're already well educated in those areas but like you can never stop learning yeah, you know? I, mean, you see, yeah. That's, I think that's a great plan and yeah lo demás it'll fall into place you know if you or doing what you love because that is something that you love and you have always loved um, and you're passionate about so everything just else will fall educating myself I think I, I find very <laughs> just educating myself more and I need to just yeah I need to just educate that's where I see myself more no sé a lo mejor aquí a lo mejor en México no, it's you know like learning over there yeah. or in Peru or I don't know pero eso sí for sure pero lo demás everything how you said will fall into place if I if I find a man, then homeboy will be moving with me to Costa Rica or not Costa Rica. We're just talking about Costa Rica. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Costa Rica. But anyways, um, like travel with me or something. I don't know, but I think this is very important. And I see myself solo too. I don't see myself with someone <laughs> with me or anything. But but yeah, this was this was the meal. Um. Okay. Next question. Yes. Dun dun dun. Uh. Something. What would be something that you would go back and perhaps change, or would you change anything that you would go back? That I would change as a teenager, child, a younger adult. So I think more as a as a preteen or teen. I think that was one of my like one of those. Uh, I don't want to call it a phase, but one of those times in my life where I had it like hard because um, I think everybody has a hard actually. I don't think I'm unique in any way because I'm pretty sure that you and Jackie can relate. But it's like a weird time when you're a preteen, teen, and you're like, everything's weird. Like you're emotional. Uh, 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 you know, eye contact and everything. She's supposed to get on show. I know, ahorita les doy un show. Dale, ven, siéntate. Okay. The battery died, so you were saying... Well, we're back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Um, so you were saying when... Yeah, so <laughs> just to kind of like reiterate real quick, like I, something that I, I would change or do differently is that like as a preteen team, that transition, I think I had a really hard time because I was overthinking everything, but I'm still an overthinker, so... I could change that, right? It's just like some a personality trait, I suppose. But lo que hubiera cambiado es que I'd be a little bit more confident in myself. But for some reason, I just doubted myself, and I was, it was just a weird time because your body's changing, your thoughts are changing, you're turning into a woman, but you're still a little girl. So it's just weird. The awkward used, stage. The awkward stage, and then um, like I was, you know, telling Jackie, you start developing differently. So now you're kind of getting looked at as a woman. Which is extra creepy because you're probably around 12, 13 around this time. Mm -hmm. um, I also was getting bullied at the same time. Um, many of the girls around me in my school didn't look like me. So that also gives you a little bit of a, like, a, oh, I'm weird. Like, this is weird. So I was always, like, like why doubting. Why is it not happening yeah. to them? Or why is it only happening to me or whatever? Yeah, or it's happening differently. Like, or, um, yeah, yeah. Different, uh, different growth as well because obviously, like, we have different bodies, every woman and every man, like we all have different bodies. So I feel like that's another thing to like 
Yo, ¿por qué los tiene tan grandes y yo no? Yeah, I think yeah. that was definitely one of those Or, ¿por qué yo las tengo tan grandes y ella no? Either or. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Como que era muy self-critical. And I think that's one thing I would change. Um, Not overthinking. Yeah, so yeah. I think if I would have started there at that age, entonces ya ahorita ya no fuera tan, tan, like, that. Tan, I mean, I'm not as bad anymore, because the older you get, como que ya más te valen. No. But it, I don't know, like, I haven't really changed very much in a long time, many years, and it's almost like, pues, así soy, así voy a ser. This is what I look like. <laughs> yeah, like, this is what I look like. Like, I don't think I would even, um, I don't know. Honestly, I think that's the one thing, being self-critical, and I hope I can teach other girls and women in my family not to be like that, because that is a waste of time. What do you think that, like, kind of like, um, It could have helped you better to prepare yourself for that or or do you think like let's say como like for me like my mom like i knew about the whole like menstrual menstrual uh thing and your body change and blah blah blah, blah. you even taught us how to like put a condom on like at you all yeah like i was in elementary i think oh i think it was elementary that's young in fifth no fifth grade no not a condom oh like, like no not the condom the condom was in middle school um I but i remember getting a little uh booklet and then the enseñanos the different body like transitions yeah and stuff like that i was like and but i already kind of knew because my mom already had talked to me about yeah all of that so did your mom talk to you about it or like oh or do you think maybe she would give you more information no say like I think, uh, no, my mom definitely talked to us about it very early on, pregnancy, um, periods, hormonal changes, but I don't think she actually, like, described it to, like, an emotional and mental level, like, she, it was all pretty much, like, physical, so, yeah, but then, also, like, typical of our culture, my mom's very much about, like, not really into emotions or things like that. Like, se le hace ridículo, se le hace, like, ay, no llores. Que simple, no seas así. Like, yeah. que mamona. You know, como que tienes emociones fuertes. Sí. Like, no. But, um, I think that's probably why. And then also, my mom has a different, uh, going back to the body image stuff, my mom has a different body type than I do. So, I feel like she didn't, she couldn't relate, like, honestly. She couldn't relate. <laughs> she she almost added to it, too, because she'd be like, ooh, como que te creció mucho. And I'd be like, Oh, so she was, you yeah. know, because she doesn't she like wasn't really supportive on that. Or, yeah, she has a different body type, mm-hmm. you know, and she looks different. And I'd be like, okay, like I, I don't see anybody like me, and I'm, I'm the oldest in my family too. So then, you had no to really not compare yeah. yourself to, but yes, do some type of comparison. Yeah. Do you remember when you got it? When I got my period? Yeah, actually, I was 12, um, I got my period, and ironically, to use it, so I ran over to my mom, she was on the phone, she didn't believe me, so then what I did, I was like, I'm gonna wait, because you know how you kind of feel it coming out, yeah, so I waited, and then I went back to the bathroom, this is how dramatic I was at that age, because, you know, we all are <laughs> dramatic to some extent, it's like, this is a blood of your <laughs> no, like, fui al baño otra vez cuando sentí como que otra vez venía un, no, un poquito chile. de algo, de flow, de la ant flow, y fui al baño, and what I did is like, fui al baño, me piqué, lo vi que estaba, I went and got her, and she was on, oh, do you guys remember the cordless phones? They were literally like this big, right? Yeah. She was on her big old cordless phone, talked to Matia about, who knows, some probably BS. And then I'm like, mom, and she's like, déjame, estoy hablando. No, and I'm like, no, no, mom, es que me bajó. Ay, ya te dije que no, que no es eso, estás muy chiquita. I'm like, I'm 12. Yeah, and she's so, very happy. She, she tells my aunt, like, all of them, ay, te voy a dejar porque según esta que le bajó, ¿tú crees? Tiene 12 años. And I'm like, no, pues por con razón también tenías tu, tus, your mental, like. Yeah. So even though like she had talked to me about all this stuff, she had told me, like, let me know when it does. I'm over here telling her, like, hey. So anyway, long story short, she goes to the bathroom, she looks, she's like, ah, sí. This is how my mom talks. Sí. Y te bajó. And I'm like, ¿qué es lo que te estoy diciendo? Entonces me sale con que, no, pues es que no tengo cortex. No, 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 no,
And it had to be Kotex, okay? Yeah, I guess you can't say uh, toallita sanitaria or whatever the official name is. So we go over to my tia's house. Check this out. We go over to my tia's house, and on the way there, first of all, my mom's like in the car, and she's like, Ya eres una, ya eres una mujer, ya eres una señorita, así como te, expli te expliqué, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, but in my head, all I hear is like, I'm a woman now, blah, blah, blah. So then I walk into uh, my tia's house, and my cousin was there, and he's like, hey, you want to play um, Mario Kart on my new Nintendo 64? And I'm like, I can't. I'm a woman now. <laughs> yeah, so then he said, no, I can't. I'm a woman now. So then um, my tia's like, oh, ven, ven al baño, te voy a dar los cotex que tengo. Guys, they were some big ass ones. Nighttime. Duh. Nighttime cotex, like nighttime pads. And I was a very small kid. I mean, at 12, you're still small, petite. Not kidding you guys, it went probably from the top of like I my pelvic bone all the way up to like the like tailbone, maybe past that. Anyways, so whatever, I put it on because she tells me how to do it, whatever. I put it on the right side and everything. And then I walk back over to the living room, but I to get to the living room, I had to pass by where my cousin was playing his Nintendo 64 game. And he's like, are you sure you don't want to play? And I'm like, no, I already told you, I'm a woman now. Agua? And no kidding, you guys, no, I could hear the crunch of the pad as I was walking by. And now I wonder if he heard it too. Yeah, that was one of my things too, que soía como que a little, like... <laughs> you need to tell us your period story, Nella. It's hilarious, actually. My period story? I think I was the same age, but then I was... It's not your period story, it's my period story. Yeah, you don't, have, you don't even have it. Y cuando lo tengas, no lo vas a querer. Oh, I know. Well, Let me tell you, father. I do remember... Oh. Wey, yo hablo como a los 11 años, for sure. Le agarraba los cotex a mi mamá y me los ponía. Because I wanted <laughs> my period. You wanted it? Yes, dude. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like just in the household, like I had to grow up. And you had to grow up really, really fast and straight away también. But, like, for me, ya no era tan niña. Because, I don't know. I, I viewed things differently. And, I don't know. But anyways. But you ya sabía que me iba a sangrar y que tanto, que igual va a todo, right? Pero ya este. ¿Qué te traen como a Ven. Este. And I was putting them on, and my mom ended up catching me one time. She's like, ah, whatever. And I got like lecture and shit. I mean, you were wasting her stuff. Yeah, and they're expensive. They can be. And uh, so, anyways, I'll meter aña, whatever. But eventually it did come, and um, I wasn't. So I've been middle school. Yeah, I was like maybe in seventh grade. No. Then yeah, I was in like in my in towards the end maybe then my old grade. I think I was twelve. Twelve. Porque yo me acuerdo que my sixth, Fifth, sixth grade, grade. No, it was like sixth or seventh. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was like my sixth or my seventh grade. Porque I remember sixth grade. Um, there was this girl, there were a couple of girls that they had already had their menstrual and oh, it was like, I need to get the comfortable seat because I'm on my menstrual and I have really bad cramps and I have like, no. and, and I didn't know what the fuck. So yo de pendejas se los daba away because I'm just like, oh, she's like, dying. Shit. Yeah, like, no sabía. En esa manera, like, no sabía presentar. Yo sabía about it, like, I'm not stupid, pero like, well, I didn't know how they felt. Yeah. Know, Cause I never had it myself. So, anyways, um, but yeah, I that when I had it, I think I was at home when I had it and stuff. So, yeah, there's entonces like I fucking hate having my period, man. <laughs> like, it's like, I'm very really thankful for it. Like, don't get me wrong, because that's just a little reminder that things are working like how they should in a way. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy it anymore. You know, it's <laughs> but going through the whole like transition period of your body todo like no because there was other girls already like very developed mm -hmm. like very developed like wait like wait como tu cuerpo tu tienes I feel like más cuerpo que yo pero, pero es, but at that age yeah mm -hmm. at that age I was like oh that was a bad time kind of shit so mm -hmm. um, yeah that was but, but besides that like no I just don't like getting my period anymore. I don't it's, really have sexy comfortable. time. I was like, I don't have sexy time, but if I would be having sexy time, 
I'm not with this person that I'm having sexy time like in a relationship wise. So I'm very thankful when I get my menstrual. Mommy. When I get my moon for sure. But it is like painful and uncomfortable. It At is. least for me, it's always been pain painful, uncomfortable, and it's like way too long. I've always had an eight day. And I do mean uh, every single time. Pero fíjate que, I don't know. I've noticed that now that uh, that I'm getting older, uh, that we are getting older. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting older. Yo a mí no me meto en tus cosas. Um, me está durando menos el tiempo, like de la duración, mm -hmm. y luego también I'm in pain too. Like I didn't cramp. I remember one time I did fucking cramp that it dropped me, like me tumbó. But besides that, like, yeah, like, I start cramping, like, literally right when it's happening. Mm -hmm. And then, like, and I get bloated. And then I get little cramps here and there, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm hurting a little bit. But it, it's different every month, I feel like. Yeah, I, I do think it's different every month. It's but just, just in general, like, just as a menstrual, like, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very mindful. I do pay attention, like, like, como... Cómo me sale, cuánto me sale, de qué color sale, cuánto dura, uh, does it have a certain smell? Like I check so many things porque your body talks to you, right? Like it tells you like, um, and but yeah, I'm just and I have, yeah, I'm just I'm yeah. over it. But then again, I'm like, pero once I don't have it, let's say, hey, oh, por merito te das, um. But I do feel that once we hit that menopause, then in a, like a few years, <sighs> oh, a few years, I know. But I'm not like I think I'm gonna miss it. Like I think I'm gonna miss the whole like I don't know. Maybe because also what it represents. What is it? It represents that you're so fertile. <laughs> I'm gonna miss directing me once I'm done having kids. Yeah. I'm getting one. Yeah. Guys, though, what Jackie said about being more in tune with your body, paying attention to the output, the, the symptoms and things like that, very important. I feel like not, a, not enough women do it. And then even if they do do it, I feel like they don't take it seriously. Like they won't go to the doctor. They see that something's off. And like it's so important to have an early intervention for many of these enfermedades de las mujeres because we have the worst. We have so much stuff. Like, yeah, men get so prostate much. cancer, okay. Pero no es tan hey. común como el cáncer uterino o de los ovarios o um, fibroids, quistes. Like, there's so much stuff, like, that we deal with. PCOS, um, and then we do this, like, so much. And it's more and more common that women cannot get pregnant or they have an endometriosis thing or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very aware of what's going on. And then know that too, if you're a mom, like, you know, you're a mom, obviously you're going to be like telling Alina, like, mm -hmm. ya cuando llegue su cierta edad de los 10 años, de los 10 años, 11 años, like, comadre, te va a salir un color así, por allá. <laughs> por and, allá. Oh, you know what? I did forget a side note. So the reason why my mom didn't really believe me, porque ella no le bajó hasta los 16 años. What? Yeah, so I guess I should have mentioned that. I mean, aside from the fact that she was always the kind to not get freaked out very easily. I think it was probably because of that then. She yeah. was like, no, I mean, no me bajo. And no. Yeah. But then again, everybody's different. Everybody, Everybody's body's different. Because I mm -hmm. forgot who I was like talking to, and they said, like, no, I mean, no me bajo como hasta los 13, 15 años. I was like, what the? But everybody's different. Mm -hmm. So it's just. I feel like it was a little bit more common that they get de los 11, 12, 13 mm -hmm. años was the latest, but you hear more common like... Mm -hmm. 11 to 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it even under 10? Hey, mm. So I've actually heard that under 10 is not good either. Yeah, that's way too freaking mm -hmm. early. So, I don't know. I um, That could be a real deep subject, honestly. Mm. Sí. Pero nosotros no somos, no somos doctoras, nomás estamos dando nuestra opinión. De nuestros, de nuestros cuerpos, what we've experienced. This is not legal, uh, this yeah. is not medical advice. Yeah, this is not, do not come back for us. Pues yeah. Pues dijeron que no era normal de antes de los nueve años. Exactly. This is whatever kind of thing. Alright, right. yeah, decent, decent. Sí, no, no, no. Alright, let's go to the next question. 
Ton, ton, ton. Espérate, déjame. Bye, Lina. Ok. Vamos ahora. I'm excited actually for the strawberry one. I don't know why. Is that what's next? Yeah, because ya, ya nos toma. Ya nos queda ya el último la carne. Pineapple. You can put the piña in the freezer for a little bit. Yeah. Put yes. I'm going to put it on right now. Put it in right now. Just so it gets like the grand finale, you know, has to be. So it's como la chingada. That's what I would say. It does have a little bit of a smell. I like it's this. a good smell, not like a bad smell. Kind of like, kind of like a guadalín, but kind of like a chicle de fresa. I feel like I can smell it more in this cup because it's card, like is it carton mm -hmm. or de papel or whatever. Guadalín, we? I'm not trying to smell it. Yeah. I'm like, my brain, I think, is like going through the files of like the smell factor. What does this duvalin smell like? But oh, yeah, 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 and I'm like, the strawberry one. See, 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 that's why I was going through the. Do you, you, see, do you, do you, the, do you taste it now or not? I haven't tried it, you know. I've been trying to like just smell the duvalin and then, um, oh no, I know what too. ¿Se acuerdan los chicles pequeñitos que eran como una burbujita así? Y le salía como un tipo de jalea de adentro, como. Can I get yeah. No. Because it was a bubble gum one that they had the fillers. Yeah, that one. Uh-huh. Pero no, no eran gushers. Son <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, los gushers no son... Sí, gushers. pero... ¿Cómo se llaman? No son bubulugos, porque esos son los maloriscos cubiertos de chocolate. Um, espérenme, voy a hablar con el doctor Google. Chicles. <laughs> Chicles mexicanos con relleno. ¿verdad? Chicles mexicanos con relleno, güey. No me acuerdo de eso. Or rellenos. No recuerdo si venían en un paquete de, like, individual, like, just one. Oh. <laughs> Bubaló. Bubal. Yeah, I thought that was, there were the, the bubble gum. I thought they were just called bubble gum. To be no, Bubaló. Oh, that. yeah, definitely, yes. That's the ones that I was telling you about, like, they really look like gushers. Well, you know. I don't know, I never had gushers for que pos. Teníamos muy valor. No, yo digo gushers, yo tuve ya y era el bruta ya ahorita. Pero yes, those are were my favorite. I'm off. <laughs> just yeah. thinking about I didn't it. Know, like, they had all these flavors. I thought they just had um, the pink one. Just strawberry. Isn't it crazy like there's certain parts of your childhood that you don't remember, but there's other parts of your childhood that you really remember? Yeah. It's like why do I not remember this? <laughs> Maybe so it's just good. from like the lack of our brain development. Or if you had trauma around that time. I was going to say, I was like, maybe it was the trauma. <laughs> the yeah. trauma that it keeps us like... I think it's a combo of both, because también si te pones a pensar, si estabas muy, muy chiquita, our brains still developing and probably didn't have that capacity to remember certain things. But mm -hmm. también, I've heard that the trauma makes you like not remember yeah, about certain things. Yeah. yeah. Cause I feel like I do remember a lot, a lot, a lot from my childhood, like a lot. Yeah, I feel but like as my for my teens, like my teen years, I or like middle school. From I feel like from middle school. Is it fucking middle school? Wait, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I think once we left my dad, it's cuando se me. Se me comenzaron a olvidar las cosas, but not in a bad way. I felt like it was more because I wasn't like worrying about certain shit happening. You weren't as attentive? Yeah, no, like, like I didn't know how to be like in alert the whole entire time. Like, fuck, el compitata va a llegar bien pedo y va a ser desmadre y medio. Or he's going to start arguing with my, like, he's going to come in, my mom's going to start fucking arguing because he's drunk and then there's going to be a fight. Like, that was always my mentality, like try to keep the peace and fights and are scary when you're a little kid and it's your parents fighting yeah it is because you don't know like for me it was like are you gonna kill her <laughs> that yeah. was like my thought like fuck like one day like i'm gonna come out of the or my mom's never gonna come into the room yeah that's why, like that's too much for a little kid to think about so i don't want to forget that too subconsciously but see i remember all of that all of that i remember all of that 
I remember all of that, mm-hmm. but there, once we left, it's because I feel like more of, I could be a kid. I yeah. could be in normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a way. So, yeah, I think that was like one of the, the, the reasons of the one. Like, I, I don't know, that's crazy. I feel like some parents, they don't realize what kind of damage they're doing. I know like we, my parents never fought in front of us, but one time I, they did fight when we went to Disneyland. And because my mom was supposed to be reading a map, because there was no GPS back then, and she missed a turn, like she didn't tell my dad to turn or something like that, and they started arguing over that. It was so dumb. It was so frustrating. And we were so scared, and it wasn't even a scary fight. Like, we just had never seen it before. They were like, pero me dijiste. And I was just like, oh my god, don't fight, girl. No. So I can only imagine like a real serious fight, no? Yeah. No. And um, it's scary for a kid. Because again, it's for me, it's like, don't fucking yell at me because that's when I really black out. Stop. That's when I really black out and be like, yeah. No respondo. There's certain, certain ones. Pero. Ya vino la vida. So we're going to drink this and then we'll see you for the finale. <laughs> the best. The best. The best, the best of the best. Nice and cold. Hey. Little, 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 little.